Hi, I'm Katherine Clements with Channel Partners. I'm here with Callie Henderson, Editor-in-Chief, and TC Doyle, Executive Editor, Information and Technology in Cloud. We're here today to talk about the upcoming Cloud Partners event taking place in September, September 8th through the 10th in New Orleans. So welcome Callie and TC. Thanks, Catherine. We're coming off a, an extremely successful Channel Partners event and we had record-breaking attendance with more than 4,300 people there. Excellent programming and networking. Hallie, what were some of the takeaways from the event from your perspective? Well, like you said, we had record-breaking attendance, 20% growth, which I think was extremely gratifying to the people at Channel Partners, but really it was a testimony to um, the value of the channel. It's definitely increasing as technology becomes more complex and companies become more depended upon technology not only to enable their businesses but also to grow them. The other thing I thought was really interesting, and we had 60% net new attendance at our event, including T.C. Doyle, who is our new executive editor. And so I'm kind of curious what you thought about the show. Well, it was extraordinary. A lot of new attendees, as you mentioned, and it was my first time there. And I think the takeaway that I had more than any other was the level of engagement they had with each other. The peer-to-peer -peer networking was unrivaled in any event that I've ever seen before. Um, Channel Partners is considered the gathering point for the industry. Um, TC, can you talk to us a little bit about the why behind Cloud Partners? Well, the why is pretty simple. When you look at IT spending today and you look at where customers are putting their budgets, an increased percent is going to cloud purchasing. That's ju not just the centralized IT department, but it's also line of businesses and others with budget. More and more customers want to avail themselves of the cloud opportunities and applications, infrastructure, and that's what makes this event so exciting. For our partners, whose business is ranging anywhere from 10 to 20, in some cases 30, 40% of their business coming from the cloud, that number is only going to increase. This is why I'm so excited about the upcoming event. Callie, um, tell us a little bit about what the content team has planned for the events in terms of the programming. Okay. Yeah, well, we have a couple of goals in mind, really, to talk about, one, where are cloud partners going, and two, how are they going to get there? So, the one, where are they going, what we're seeing is a shift in the marketplace away from a very opportunistic spend, meaning uh, buying for limited compute, uh, short time frames, buying by um, line of business managers, sometimes called shadow IT, buying one-off implementations such as email or um, backup, that's a popular one, and going more to a strategic spend, which would be things that would transform business process and also help them improve the way that they're going to market and, of course, making money. Mm -hmm. So we'll have some visionary keynotes that address these um, changes and also some very tactical sessions that will talk about what that means for channel partners. So how do they need to change their business? How are they going to change their portfolios to have the right providers? How are they going to change their professional services? How are they going to change the conversations that they're having at the point of the customer in order to have that strategic approach to cloud services? That's really exciting stuff. Um, TC, on the vendor side of things, um, who can we expect to see there on the show floor? Well, you're going to see some of the best vendors in the business there, both on the telecom side and uh, coming from the information technology world. And what we're so excited about is putting together the right partners with the right vendors. By that, I mean simply this. Heretofore, we've heard a lot of opportunities about how the cloud is going to be disruptive and possibly even bypass solution providers and uh, VARs and telecom agents. I don't think that's the case. In fact, I think you're going to see a flip. The democratization of technology coming down into their world, partners being able to aggregate uh, applications for the customers, the types of applications that have heretofore been outside their realm, you're going to see those types of organizations, vendors represented at our event. We're very excited about it. Absolutely. Great. Um, it, it is shaping up to be an excellent event. Um, Callie, what else should attendees expect from Cloud Partners? Right. So, as TC said, we really want to elevate the conversation as much as we can, but we're also going to do a few things that are kind of fun. So, we're introducing a new words program called the Cloudies, and that will acknowledge innovation and leadership in cloud services. So we're looking forward to doing that. And in addition, um, Cloud uh, Partners, along with Channel Partners, is really known as a networking event. And we have some really great opportunities planned for partners to 
um, talk to each other in peer-to-peer -peer groups and we find that that's one of the most valuable pieces of the networking events that we sh that we have at the show. Let me echo on that because uh, the event that I saw this spring, our Channel Partners event, I saw more peer-to-peer -peer networking going on than I've ever seen at any event ever before. And why is that so important? You can get a lot from the web. You can even attend some events virtually. But what you can't get is that peer-to-peer -peer sharing, best practices, insights on what's working and what's not on the marketplace. You need to come to our event. And did we mention it's in the great city of New Orleans this time? So there's another reason to attend. Absolutely. Well, thank you, um, Callie and TC, for being thank here you. with us today. We're looking forward to seeing you September 8th through the 10th in New Orleans.